and welcome to Stand Up Diaries, entry 27, and I actually decided to name my entries, uh, this one's called Bought My Domain, and what I decided to do when I first started doing comedy, actually, this is when I first, first started thinking about what to do with my life um, when I got laid off, was I bought the domain demixcat.com, which was D-A-M-I-X-K-A-T, and because that's my Xbox Live gamer tag, and I thought about doing gaming videos, and so yeah, so I bought that domain and I put up a few gaming videos, and then I started doing stand-up, and I just found that just organically, stand-up was what I really started to do a lot more and take a lot more seriously. So demixcat.com kind of just like faded away, and I checked out michellechristine.com, because that's my stage name, and when I did that, it was already bought. I couldn't buy michellechristine.com. I could buy .ca or .org, but neither of those appealed to me, so I decided just to wait it out. And then a few days ago, I just randomly was like, okay, I'm just going to try michellechristine.com again, and it was available. And I bought it through GoDaddy. Uh, they do a lot of marketing, and I guess marketing is sales, because <clears throat> I just use them. And uh, there was a deal that came on if I bought it through uh, Firefox that I wasn't seeing on Chrome. And uh, the reason that I didn't proceed with Firefox online was that it kept glitching out at this one part. So I decided to call GoDaddy and just uh, buy it uh, on, on the telephone. And I spoke to this guy and he was actually really, really helpful. Uh, he was uh, from Arizona, uh, the phone got disconnected and he called me back, which is always nice because we were right in the middle of something. And then I told him about the fact that I was trying to build a website uh, because I'm a new stand-up comic and I just wanted to buy the domain and not exactly sure when I'm going to get it running, but I just wanted to make sure that I could secure it for myself. And then I told him about my stand-up diaries and that's when he said that he knew uh, that you could put in like a forward, like an auto forward, so if I put in standupdiaries.tumblr.com, when people would go to michellechristine.com, it would actually just automatically go there. So I've kind of like hit the ground running in the sense that uh, I don't have a website yet, but if someone does type in michellechristine.com, they will get to my standup diaries, which is really cool. So yeah, I recommend if you're thinking about uh, buying your name, uh, the sooner the better, just so that you can secure it for yourself. It's not too expensive. Anyways, this has been your next edition of Stand Up Diaries. I have been Michelle Christine.